All right, hey, hey guys, welcome back to my playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. And today we're going to return the ruby tablet to the altar in the sky and continue on with our quest. So let's talk to this statue right here. And let's go to the sky. Oh, hold up. I meant to... All right, to the sky. Yep, all right. So I think I know where I'm supposed to go, but I guess we'll find out if I really do know. All right, Master Luke. When you hit the that goddess cube with a skyward strike earlier, I was able to detect a resulting energy reaction above the clouds. <clears throat> oh, now we have a map. The location I have marked on your map indicates the spot where I sensed an energy reaction. Oh, okay. What is this? Is this like the sun? Okay. I advise you to investigate the area around this location. Okay. That means we get to go. Alright. So I believe it's just that island over there. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Okay. I thought we were gonna like, let's see, let me just check here. Um, okay. I thought we were gonna like, hit the thing and fall off, but. All right, sweet, so I think it was this island, yes. It's really more of like a sky island, but there are pumpkins. Can we do anything? Okay. Not really. There's a hole. Oh. All right. Okay. S nothing really big yet that we found. Um There. Here's a chest. Does this give us anything? Ooh, it gave us You made your adventure pouch bigger that you can now fit an additional item inside. Oh, okay. That's actually that's a useful upgrade. Alright, so is that the only thing, or let's... Bird statue save. Alright, let's just save here. Because I think we need to save to activate it. Let's just run around the outside here. Alright, that is it for the exterior. But let's head inside. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, there's a piece of heart up there. Can we use items in here? Because if so... No, we cannot. Okay. What would that say? The lumpy pumpkin? Alright. Well, well. Welcome. I can see from your handsome outfit there that you're, for, you're a Skyloft Knight. I hope you'll make yourself at home. Have the rupees sitting on top of the chandelier caught your eye? Don't go thinking you can get those down, you hear? You might think that you can knock the rupees down by bumping something and making the chandelier shake, but don't even think about it. Are we clear? I didn't have the idea until she thought about that, so. Cust wait. Alright, customers wishing to see the lumpy pumpkins framed chandelier should visit the second floor viewing gallery. I think they seem to be, the chandelier seems to be a big thing of interest here. Listen to this. The old guy over there says he saw a demon. He's obviously trying to get Kina's attention, but he won't get anywhere using creepy lines like that. Who's Kina? Is this Kina? Hi. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh. All right. 
talk to the old guy. You believe me, don't you? Believe what? We gotta hear this first. There's a fiendish demon living in Skyloft. I'm telling you, I came this close to getting eaten by that evil beast. <clears throat> you look like you've gotten a little night training, but you better keep your guard up, or he'll take a bite out of you too. Alright. Welcome to every bird rider's favorite rest stop, the Lumpy Pumpkin. This is the one and only place you can enjoy some of our famous pumpkin soup. What do you think? Want to try a bit and see what all the buzz is about? Just a little. I'm impressed that a young man like yourself can appreciate the refined taste. Just 10 rubies a bottle. Interested? Uh, sure. Fill her up. It's about time. Take this. Oh yes, we got another bottle. Unless we used our own. Actually, I think we just used our own. You got some hot pumpkin soup. This homemade soup is Pum's specialty. But watch it, it'll get cold in five minutes. The soup is meant to be enjoyed hot, just so you know. It'll be cold in just five minutes. So that probably means it will go bad in five minutes. Okay. I mean, we should probably... I don't want to let it go cold, but... You really shouldn't open other people's cupboards without permission. That's probably true. Alright. There's a door... Not much else to see. Let's head up here. Who are you? Hey Luke! I didn't think I'd see you here. Bet you're wondering what I'm doing here. Yep. I think I mentioned this before, but man, I am really into bugs. That's why I'm out collecting insects wherever I think I'll find them. If you have a bug net too, you should try catching some. <laughs> If you don't have one, you can pick one up at Beetle's Air Shot. I'm sure that sweaty shopkeeper is flying around Skyloft now. I know Beetle had an air shop, that's interesting. Alright, where's this framed gallery that we're supposed to... No roughhousing on the balcony. Big ruckuses caused the chandelier to shake. Oh my, that would be such a... Such a disappointment. <laughs> that was nice. Why would you do that? Oh, did you know what it is? Us. Get down and come here this instant. Oh, man. We're in trouble. I promise I'll pay for it. Oh, yes. We got a piece of heart. Collect four to increase our heart capacity by one. Three to go. All right. Oh, no. You've done it now. There's no escaping this one. Watch me. Can we leave? No, we might be able to. What were you thinking? You scared a year off my life. What did you want again? I lost my train of thought. You believe me, don't you? No chance. Hey now. What's with you kids today and all your disrespect and whatnot? I swear. Will he say something else if we say yes? Sure. I know, right? You're a good kid. Ah. We went from disrespectful to good. Don't even pretend that was an accident. I put signs up there to warn people to be careful of the chandelier and everything. Well, I wash my hands of the whole thing. Don't be surprised if my dad gives you a royal chewing out. Alright. I'll sit on this side of the counter so he can't hurt me. What is wrong with you? Just look at what you've done. You broke my fancy custom-ordered chandelier. You're going to be working for me for free until you pay off every single rupee that chandelier cost me. Got that? Are you ready to own up to your responsibility? We probably should. <clears throat> That's right, and I'm going to hold you to that. Let's not waste any time putting you to work. I need you to deliver my famous soup to Aegis. Skyloft's Knight Commander. The Knight Commander is a regular here. He says he can't get his day started without a bowl of my soup. What do you say? Are you ready to deliver some soup to the Knight Commander? Yep. Alright then, here's the hot pumpkin soup. Deliver that to the Knight Commander. Do we have two now? Listen up, kid. The Knight Commander hates cold soup. So you're going to take this hot soup over to him. 
I'd say you've got to deliver it in less than five minutes or the soup will get cold. All right, that sounds good. Now we have two. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I think it was worth it. We got a piece of heart, but now we're doing some slave labor. Oh well, guess we have to be responsible. Isn't he like right here? I think he might be. All right, we got a mission. All right, I heard you won the wing ceremony. Congratulations, that's incredible. Hey, you don't seem all that happy about winning. What's the matter? All right, where are we? Oh, we're at the bazaar. Oh, that's not the right place. I'm not sure why I thought he was at the bazaar, but I just did, and that wasn't very smart. All right, hopefully we can find him. I have, like, no idea where he'd be normally. But I guess we just have to hurry up. What have we got? Hey, Luke, how are you? Feeling a bit better, I hope. I'm afraid I've got some problems, too, but, you know, I, p I try to put on a brave face in front of other people. If you do that, the unhappiness rolls off like water on a loft wing's back. I always try to keep that in mind. Good for you, sir. Whose room is this? Instructor Horwell. Isn't that who it was? No. Lately, I've been taking care of Mia for the headmaster. It's dangerous having her around. She's so adorable that I'm starting to think I need one of my own. Oh, shoot. I forget what we're supposed to do. Are we supposed to give it to... Uh-oh, so not him. Was it the headmaster? Maybe it was like the night guy. Let's try him. I hope we get it right. You know, but. All right, the sparring call. Is it this guy? Egus, yep, here it is. Hey Luke, have you been working hard on your sportsman swordsmanship? Hmm? I smell something. I know that earthy aroma. Isn't that my favorite pumpkin soup? I asked the owner of the lumpy pumpkin to bring me some, but you went out of your way to deliver some to me? No. Huh? I told Pum to bring some right away, so what is he doing? You do not want to be around me when I don't get my daily pumpkin soup. Oh, I guess, well, I mean, we did give it to you, but, yes, yes, give it to me, here you go. So good, mmm, this is the stuff, pumpkin soup is best, piping hot. Well done, say thanks to the owner for me. All right, let's actually drink some of our own pumpkin soup because, okay, I guess it just normally heals us, but we don't haven't lost any HP. I just wanted to see if we, never mind. All right. Let's go report back to him. But after that, ooh, instructor. Oh, I heard the news, Luke. Zelda's fallen through the clouds and you're going to look for her, is that right? The headmaster told me there's land beneath the clouds. Do you know anything about that? So that's the famous sword. Ah, and the shield. It looks like you have one already. Very good. Here, take this as a little gift from me. Oh, sweet. If you're not sure how to use a shield, Commander Knight Commander Aegis at the sparring hall will happily teach you. Okay, don't worry, we know how to use a shield. Alright, let's... Let's report back to... The guy at the... Plump Pumpkin, whatever that was called. Pumpkin Landing, let's go over there. Alright. 
Alright. That was a pretty good landing. Alright, let's talk to him. Is the chandelier still... Oh, I think it is. Oh, they cleaned it up though. But it's not there. Ah, I see you've delivered the soup to Aegis. I'll subtract your pay from the bill for the, the chandelier. But you're not done yet. I'm already scheming about what I need you to do next. I'm going to need some time to think about this, though. So come back and see me later. Alright, that's just fine. We have things to be doing. Alright. Alright, let's head back to the... Oh, whoops, I forgot to whistle. I was, like, about to kill myself. That would not have been good. Get somewhere, like, over here, maybe? Alright. So I think we just go in here. But I'm not too certain. Alright, here we go. Inside the statue of the goddess. Here we go. Okay. No. All right, and sweet. We have, oh, there's Phi. Master, I've con confirmed the location of a second opening in the cloud barrier. It is located in the skies to the northeast. This opening will allow you to access a new area on the surface. I suggest you fly there as soon as you complete necessary preparations. Now, hold up. I'm going to go to the bazaar and see if there's anything new to buy. Not sure that there will, but I'm just going to check anyways. Hmm. Alright, because la- Oh, who's that? Kuki, Kuki, where could that child have gone? Oh, Kukul, Kukiel, where did you go? What will I do if she's been kidnapped? Oh, Luke. What perfect timing. You haven't seen my Kukiel, have you? Kuki who? My daughter. She's a little five-year-old girl. Please, Luke. Won't you help me look for her? I've been looking everywhere, but I can't find her. I've asked everyone I could I could find for help, and a few people have said she's been spotted with some unknown person with a scary face. Someone else even said they thought they'd seen her carried off by a monster. A monster! She must have been kidnapped. She's so cute and friendly. Someone could have just walked off with her. Find Kukil, please, please. It breaks my heart to think she's somewhere out there, crying. Please, Luke. You got it. Thank you. The Knight Academy should be proud to have a student like you. Well, I haven't found her yet. Alright, please, find my daughter quickly. Hey! hey. Alright, now... Could she be in a building? I feel like that'd be a little cheap if she's in a building. She just with someone with a scary face. Maybe Bruce took her. I don't know. Oops, I did not mean to, like, walk up that wall. Right, let's just take a walk around Skyloft. Alright. Mm. Hmm. Alright, so I'm not sure where she could be. Let's just... Let, let, Alright, let's... Maybe she's in this house. Now, this looks like a pretty suspicious place. I'd definitely put a kidnapped child in here. If I had one, that is. You guys don't know anything. Alright. So, no one in there. Think. I hope I don't, like, spend the rest of this video searching for... Kukil. I mean, it's important that we find her, but, like... We got saving the world... And stuff to do you know what about this house 
What is this? Item check girl. Patrice's house. What's the item check girl? Hmm. Well, doesn't really matter because she's not home. All right. I wonder if there are any pieces of heart in Skyloft. Oh well. Bizarre, okay. Mm, let's try the bazaar. We might find some shop or something good in here. These guys look pretty normal. What's this? A small seed satchel. Don't I already have one? I do. Wait, can I buy another one? If I click OK. Um... Oh, I have to, like, equip it and stuff? How many of these can I freaking have? Um... Is there any way to get rid of... Items? Because I'm not sure I really... Would want too many of... That is unfortunate. I... Th I like, I don't... Okay. What do you have to say? Oh, welcome. Our shop is a potion brewing and infusing business, as I'm sure you know. Anyway, I can brew potions you buy over there for my wife. But of course, sir, you'll need to bring me some insects if you want me to improve potions for you. Or bugs. You can call them bugs if you like. You can buy a bug net from Beetle's air shop if you don't have one. Beetle is usually flying his shop outside around the bazaar, yes. If you look around, you should see him up there. Wait a minute. Did Beetle kidnap her? I think Beetle's in Skyward Sword, or no, not so my heck. I think Beetle's in Breath of the Wild. His air shop, huh? Hmm. I don't know. I feel like Beetle's a little suspicious. I did. I'm still kind of mad that I bought that additional. Um. Small seed satchel, because it's like, I am probably never going to use it, and I kind of want to get rid of it, but I'm just really depressed about that right now. So I, I, I have 20 things right now. If I select that, Does that just do it automatically? Oh well. Where is this beetle guy? Oh, there he is. What in the hawk? Okay. Do I have to like land on his shop? Maybe. I don't know. I'm I'm thinking beetle took her. Beetle's very suspicious. The beetle is. Oh my. Uh oh. Turn around, turn around. Oh dear. Where are you, Beetle? Is Beetle not shown on this? Hmm. I guess he's not. Yeah, because if we look... Yeah, Beetle is nowhere to be found. So that means there must be a way to en enter his thing from on the surface here. Where is his thing? It was hard. It's hard to miss, but oh, um, crap! Where did it go? Is there like a place that it spawns in? Okay. Oh. How 
How do I signal him? Wait, maybe I have to... Stop, beetle. Oh! Sweet, okay. Oh, I just have to click A to grab. Alright, pull me up, Beetle. Because I think this is new. I don't think Beetle's Item Shop was here when we last went to. When we were last in Skyloft, at least. Alright, probably not up here. Alright. Oh, dang, poor Beetle. <laughs> Oh, you've come all this way? It's so rare to have a customer here. Beetle's Air Shop has everything you could ever want. Please, take a look around. And if you actually buy something, that would be even better. We have... That's an extra wallet. It's amazingly useful. With this, you can carry an extra 300 rupees in your wallet. Say goodbye to all those times you couldn't pick up another rupee because your wallet was stuffed full. Leave no rupee behind. That's actually never happened to me. Alright, even you must be able to see just how useful this item is. I would love it, but I can't. Okay. What's this? Is this like... A life medal? What kind of effects? Don't ask me. That's expensive, and he doesn't even know what it does. It's a little suspicious. There's a bed. Oh, wait, that's a money. Okay, that's the rupee wallet. Let's get this bug net. What about this? That's a bug net, you know, for catching bugs. Insects, too. Okay, so so there aren't so many bugs here. But you'll be able to catch tons with this when there are some. Not only 50 rubies, you'll make a net profit. Alright. Sure, now we have the net. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it really suits you. Alright, Beetle, do you have any suspicious little girls on here? Yeah, why? Aren't you a curious one? I pedal this bike to generate enough electricity to keep this place in the air. Plus, all this pedaling has got me in fantastic shape. Yep, I'd say my lifestyle is pretty eco-friendly, but, uh, with you on board, there's plenty of extra weight, so I have to pedal as hard as I can. Oh, sorry, I don't mean to be rude. Please have a look around. I've got all kinds of great stuff. Alright. Not really. Fine then. Just just don't break my concentration. So the extra weight. Actually, I won't sleep. Alright, well. Beetle was not... Beetle was suspicious, but he was not the culprit who stole the little girl. This, this is very concerning. Is this? This looks like... Oh no, this is not a little girl. Hi, Luke. What? You went to Beetle's air shop without me? That's so unfair. Kukil? Well, I did see her playing over by the graveyard yesterday. My mom called me home, so I left. I don't know what she did after that. Why? Did something happen? The graveyard. That's over here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Doesn't she know that if you go near the graveyard, then you're gonna get... Like, you're gonna die? That's like... Every scary movie ever. Oh, there. Did you hear? A child who'd been playing in the graveyard went missing. Can you believe it? Do you really think there are monsters abducting children in our little town? Um, I don't know. Nothing phases you, does it? A child just vanished from our little village. No, that's okay. Hold up. I do believe it. What? So there's a chance she was dragged off by a monster? Let's not be ridiculous here. This monster business is going a bit far. Oh. Now that you mention it, there's an old man who lives here who's always ranting about hidden monsters here in Skyloft. Everyone knows he's a little loony, though, so no one takes him seriously. You want to know where the old man is? I imagine he's at the loony pumpkin, to the east of here as usual. Okay, yeah. We know that guy. Let's see the graveyard. Alright, let's... I'm getting some... Memories of Ocarina of Time doing this. 
All right, let's just check all the graves. Man, maybe there. Oh, maybe it's not in here. I thought it might be in here. That was my plan was to just push all of them. But so they said, we sh maybe we should go ask him. You know what? Let's let's go talk to that guy. All right, back to the pumpkin we go. Unfortunately, because we've had to make a lot of trips there, it would seem, but whatever, it's fine. All right, sweet. Here we are. Now... You have that gullible look that says you might take an old man's rambling seriously. So tell me, do you believe in the Skyloft monster? I shouldn't even call it a monster. It's a demon, I tell ya. But no one can say for sure because no one's seen it and lived to tell the tale. Well, huh? You want to know how come I'm telling the tale if nobody who's seen it is left alive is that? Yep. Yeah, well, I saw it. But I was also able to... To escape by the seat of my pants. I was saved by my cat-like reflexes, I tell ya. Any regular person wouldn't have lived long enough to scream. Anyway, I saw the thing, I tell ya. There's a great big tree in the cemetery. I walked by that tree in the middle of the night, and... I was hit by the gravestone nearest the tree, and the gravestone lit up. I pushed the, It pushed the gravestone, and the door to the storage shed opened up all by itself. The monster then went into the shed, and then it closed the door behind itself, which was unexpectedly polite for a demon. I agree. It was the most terrifying thing these old eyes have ever seen. If you're smart, you'll stay clear of the cemetery in the middle of the night. Well, we aren't very smart, so we are going to the cemetery in the middle of the night. Alright, so here we are. Ooh, I thought we were about to take a lot of fall damage. I've never been in here. Let's check in here. Okay. Alright. I love to collect antiques, you know? All the things you see in my house are very old and valuable. Make sure you don't break anything. Okay. Alright, this was a little pointless. Thank you for your your time, man. Alright, let's... Well, let's see, where can we find a place to sleep? I know beetles we can. Let's see, it said the shed. Is this the shed he was talking about? And then... By the tree in the middle of the night. Hmm. Very interesting. Now, the only place I know for sure, well, Beetle's place, obviously, but I'm probably just going to, actually, wait, let's try out our net. How do we use the net? M slowly move the net toward the insect with our take aim. So like that. Okay, whatever. Alright, um, so to our house we go. I'm just gonna equip our savage beetle. Because he's cool. The beetle. Alright. Now let's go to bed and wake up in the night. Are we have to go on the ground floor or Hmm. Alright, so let's just head down here. I think this is our room. Yep. Alright. Alright, let's set our alarm clock for the night. Oh yeah. 
We're just exhausted. Oh yeah. Got our armor on. Does time pass? Like just normally? Like if I were to just wait. Like, would it just manually pass? I think the last time we were here at night. Some sketchy stuff happened. But Okay. Let's go. Faceless monster. Or demon or whatever it is. Alright. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's another one of those like Mia things. Alright, let's run away from these bats. I think these things are chasing us pretty well. Alright, now he doesn't want a piece of us. Ouch. Alright. The graveyard should be... Do we need to do this? Graveyard by the tree. He did say in the middle of the night. But surely we don't have to be like exactly in the middle of the night, right? Maybe we do. Hmm. This is the only graveyard. Piper's house. Item check. Graveyard. He said the one by the tree, didn't he? You talk about that? Hmm. This isn't bad. It's just... Hmm. Okay. What did he say? He said, don't go by the tree in the middle of the night. Well. Do we just have to wait here? I don't know if I'm in the middle of the night. these these are all in the right positions do you just start moving them hmm just a green ruby You guys don't want to know my my theory is that the old man is the ghost himself or the he's the demon. Whoa, okay, whoa, that's what is with that? Okay, that is glowing. What happened? Oh, where'd the moon go? Is it daytime? 
I saw that thing. It was moving. Now what do we do? It said the shed. We go in. Oh, we have to. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that surprisingly did not hurt us. All right, this seems a little, a little sketchy. Let's see. You kidnap. Uh oh. That didn't sound good. Oh my goodness. What the honk? Hello. Oh my goodness. That thing's kind of frightening. Not the, the boss fight. Stop. Please. I beg of you. Don't hurt me. Beatrix, oh goodness, I know how bad this must look to you right now, but I assure you no harm, we were just playing the scream as loud as you can game. Mm-hmm. Isn't that a fun game? Oh dear, perhaps an explanation is in order. My name is Beatrix, and I'm a monster who resides here in this, in this humble dwelling below Skyloft. But please allow me to cor correct one popular misconception. While I am certainly a monster, I wouldn't dream of terrorizing the people of this town. You see, this adorable little girl is the only one who didn't. You see, this adorable little girl is the only one who didn't let loose a blood curdling scream at the sight of me. Since she began to visit me here, I felt I felt positively jubil jubilant. You see, my heart's only wish is to become friends with the lovely people of Skyloft. But as you can surely imagine, it has proven quite difficult to break the ice when they are struck with paralyzing fear at the mere sight of me. I assure you, nothing would fill my heart with more joy than to be friends with the fine people of this town. But as soon as I try to approach any of them and extend my claw in front, yeah, that's probably where they run. They run and scream as though I've, they've seen a walking nightmare. Oh right, silly me, I've gotten ahead of myself. You see, there is an old tale amongst among my monstrous kin that goes as follows. It seems that when humans make other humans happy, the happy humans provide a substance known as a gratitude crystal. Gratitude crystals are quite amazing. Just look at them. Just looking at them and knowing there was such gratitude in the world could turn me from a monster to a human. Oh goodness, nothing would delight me more than to become a human from the moment I laid my regrettably demonic eyes on you. I could tell you had a gentle and generous heart. Won't you please gather gratitude crystals and show them to me? Sure. Truly? You'll help me? Oh. I've heard that you can obtain pure gratitude crystals by helping people solve their troubles. They could be merely lying about here in Skyloft among the clouds, anywhere you find people. I'm sure someone with a heart as pure and genuine as yours will be able to see them. Please solve some troubles and gather me all the gratitude crystals you can find. Any help you can provide will be dearly appreciated. I promise your assistance will not go unrewarded. He's not a bad man. He saved me one time when I almost fell over the edge, and he lets me come here and scream as loud as I want. Anyway, he said it was dangerous to go alone at night, so I'll just hang out here for a while. Tell my mom I'll come home in the morning. Alright, is your mom still out there? Maybe she is. Let's climb up this ladder. We're good ladder climbers, that's for sure. Alright. Let's go find your mother. Get away from me, Mia. Or whatever they call you. Alright, Mia and her friends do not like me. Oh, shoot. Oh. 
There we go. At least they don't like me at night. All right. Let's. I'd be kind of surprised if she's still out, still there, but and again, that would be a good mother of her to stay out and look for her child. No, her child is not here. If we sleep, will she be there? Actually, where does she live? Um, Piper. All right, you know what? Let's just sleep. And then come out and just see. All right. Fortunately, we go very slow inside. Like it is. Oh, and we can't just drop down. Oh, okay. All right. Until morning. All right. All right, let's go talk to Kukil's mother. Um, we're in the, okay, here we go. Dang, we go so slow inside. It's, it's, her, move, move Link. Come on, Link. There we go. Alrighty. Luckily, those green things are placed around. Where was her mom? I have no idea where her mom went. Hmm. She was probably in. I don't think she was in the bazaar. She could be in like one of these houses. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, Luke. Kukil is safe, safely back at home, and it's all because of you. I don't know how to express my gratitude. I can finally smile and laugh again. Thank you ever so much. You got five gratitude crystals. These crystals are feelings of gratitude in crystallized form. It must have taken a lot of gratitude to produce this bunch of five crystals. Helping people feels good. What a good life lesson. All right, that's the life lesson of the day. Helping people feels good. So remember that. All right, and I will see you guys in the next one as we hopefully don't get sidetracked and make our way to Elden. So I will see you guys then. Bye.